A couple of weeks ago, I helped a fellow author at the Renaissance Fair. He goes to, to these events and conventions to sell his books, dice, game mats, grow his influence, and just interact with readers. I was really impressed with the way that he sold his books. He has an amazing pitch, well, which I will be sharing in a moment, but he also has another secret as to how he makes money as an indie author. Hey, can I tell you about my book? Yeah. Awesome. So uh, this is a book series that I wrote. It's called Creation Abomination. It's a supernatural sci-fi thriller. It has to do with cloning, good versus evil. It has moral and ethical issues, and as you can tell by all the cool art and scenes, uh, it gets pretty intense. All the art is different scenes from the book, uh, and I actually put them in the chapters uh, where the action occurs in each of the books. So book one, Creation Abomination. I'll flip through here, give you a quick example. It has 10 illustrations, and it just gives you a good idea of what I was thinking of when I uh, wrote the chapter. Book two has 20 illustrations. Book three is a first edition. I don't have any art in there yet. I have 16 of them done and one remaining. So in about six, eight weeks when I finish that, I will kill that edition off. That will become a collector's item, and then I'll move to the second edition. Here's the premise. The main character is working on his doctorate, and he's trying to figure out how to heal injuries that normally you can't fix, like brain damage, using adult stem cells. Totally fails. But while he's doing his research, he figures out embryonic stem cells. They work, but there's a catch. The embryonic cells, they have to come from the same person that needs to be healed. Now, when you think about that, that's impossible. You, me, not even newborn babies, nobody alive has embryonic stem cells. They only exist for 18 hours when embryos formed, and then they're done. They turn the bone, the muscle, everything makes the body up. So he figures out, the only thing he can do is to figure out how to create a human embryonic clone of the person who needs to be healed. Harvest the cells from the embryo, which unfortunately does destroy the embryo in the process. That's where the story takes off. It's present day, accurate science, supernatural spun like crazy. Now, the last part I'm gonna tell you here, and this make your skin crawl a little bit. A lot of times people ask me, how does all this you know, imagery of angels and demons and battles and all kinds of coldness, how does that happen in a science book? It's not a science book, this is the story. So here's the question. When you think about this idea, it's either like a clone that was walking among us in everyday life, would that clone have a soul? Yeah, I think so. I think they would too. The thing is, it's not a soul that you want. So that's Creation Abomination. Uh, if you would like to purchase it, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, you can also find it on barnesandnoble.com. And uh, you can find me at creationabomination.com. He has said this probably thousands of times because he's been marketing and selling his book and going to these events for years. Most authors I see and interact with don't take the time to memorize a pitch and really share the essence of their books. They know why their story is amazing, but they don't know how to explain it and get readers excited. They struggle to get it out and help potential readers understand what their story is really about. His full-time job is as a digital marketer, so he has learned what will intrigue people and how to get their attention. If you want to sell books, you need to get your blurb and your pitch down so you can say it on the fly. And once you have that and are able to show readers your confidence, you will definitely sell more books. Now, his secrets. There are two main things. Going to these conventions, events, or just local gatherings. But he doesn't just go to there to sell his books. He sells game mats, art, dice, and other gaming products that fit well within the genre. By doing this, he is able to gain the attention of different groups of people. Of course, readers, but also gamers and people who love fantasy stuff. By going to so many conventions, he's able to market himself as well as get his products in the hands of many more people. He doesn't have much of an online presence, but he does a fantastic job when he goes to in-person events. This allows him to interact with his readers and physically hand them his book, which is a great way to intrigue people. By spending a lot of time, money, and effort in creating a brand and not just writing books, he makes a lot of money at these events and does really well for himself. It's taken him years to get to this point, but by doing well for himself in this way, he is able to really overcome and do what many indie authors aren't able to do. He sells his books in box trilogies, which are a collector's item and people really enjoy those. And that's the secret. Don't just sell your books, sell yourself, become a brand. 
Create products that readers will enjoy. Interact with people. Show them why your books are worth their time. Make yourself into that brand. This will help your readers know you and your stories. What products work and would sell with your books? For me, journals and pens are what I'm going to sell. The main character of Lilith's Garden, the story that I'm working on, is an avid note taker. Also, readers and writers really love pens and books. Being an author is more than just writing. You need to turn yourself into a marketable brand that will interest readers. Be active in your community. Go to events. Spend the time and money on products that will help you improve your brand. This has been one of the most influential and important lessons that I've had as an author. Being able to see a successful indie author in action has changed my perception of what it means to be an author. Selling products, pitching your story, and interacting with readers. By putting in the time, money, and effort, you'll be able to create a brand that people will know and love.